close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left So to start with the course, you know that we will be there for a prolonged period of time and you will be under a lot of light. So you have to understand that number one, your makeup should last all throughout the shoot na hindi siya nagbabago yung quality niya. So to ensure that first, I'm going to prime my face with an oil control primer sa T-zone ko. Kasi yun yung usual na nahumula sa tumumukha shiny sa pictures. For this, I'm using my Skin the Navy Oil Control Priming Spray. Kasi nakakontrol talaga ito ng oil and the best siya sa pagkontrol ng oil. So while that is settling in our skin, I also use the NYX Angel Veil Primer. The reason is, syempre, we want to cover your pores, di ba? So I'm just going to take a small amount and put it dun sa areas ng face. Actually, all over the face ko siya nila. Para mas smooth lang yung blending mo at yung foundation na gagamitin. Okay, so after we've primed our skin, I used my Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick Foundation in the shade Buff for my foundation. Every time na merong photos involved, I always go to this foundation because it's so long-lasting and it photographs really well. Para sa picture, it looks like your skin as you, as you saw dun sa kanina mga pictures. So what I did was, I just drew it all over my face. Yung tingin ko kailangan ko ng coverage. Ayan. Because we will be blending it out later. Honestly, this um, foundation is best blended with a brush. And I used my a favorite kong gamitin dito in Juvia's Place Round Buffer Brush. Ko. This one. Yeah. This one is my favorite brush to blend this foundation in. But today, I wanted to try a new sponge. And I'm so excited to try this. Kaya, tatay ko na siya ngayon. Baka sa haling. Okay, lang naman kasi siyang i blend using a sponge. I just prefer the brush kasi syempre lalo na kailangan ng coverage during photo shoots, di ba? Let me remind that pinipiga ko lang yung sponge ko. This is the Eco Tools um, Perfecting Blending Bow. Ayan, so it comes with two sponges. And I was so surprised kasi it doubled its size. Sobrang lumaki siya. Kaya, ang isip ko na parang liit, pero hindi naman pala. I already like this sponge because it's so bouncy and so soft. I like it. And like the name says, you can see that it vanishes into your skin. It really just melts into your skin na parang ganun mo siya. Okay, so you have to make sure that everything is well blended out and everything is even. So after that, I basically just went in with my tar cheap tape concealer. Although wala naman na masyadong i-co-conceal. And to brighten the face, I use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer niya pa. Tsaka nung time na yun, medyo dry kasi yung skin ko. Kaya, I went in with a parang moisturizing concealer niya. So initially, to set everything, I went in with my RCMA No Color Powder. Remember, air call not to use a powder na merong silica yung mga HD powders kasi, eh kasi, oh no, it will give you a white flashback or white cast. Sa mga pictures mo, alam mo every time may flash photography and medyo may friends tayo na maputi mo ka sa pictures, yun ang reason. Kasi may silica. And don't use a foundation na merong SPF. Dahil mag-white test yun siya. Of course, typically, kahit translucent powder yung ginamit natin to set our foundation. Medyo nag-gighten pa rin siya ng slime. So what we're going to do, we're going for, we're going over it with another parang skin tone na powder. Yung exact same sa skin tone natin. And during my pre-nup pictorial, I use my Bourjois Healthy Balance Matte Powder. Ayan. So basically, I'm just going through everything like me. Just to bring back some color to the skin. And this powder, kahit feeling ko kahit isang tambak yung ilagay mo na ganito, 
Your face will never look eaten, and that's what I love about it. Feeling ko pag ang ginamit mong powder leg, yung MAC Minimalize Skin Paint Powder. Ako, girl, sobrang kiki na ng face mo na. Nothing about, parang, no, nothing against yung mga tayo ng hilig sa MAC. Pero, hindi talaga kami magkasundo ng powder siya. Kasi I don't like powders na mukhang super powder and super kapal na nasa face mo. By the way, this is one of my favorite powder brushes, the Juvis Face J101. So, to brush my face back then, I use my... Um, butter bronzer from Physicians Formula because this is so natural looking. So, totoo lang. Drugstore brand siya, but it's high in quality. Kaya, and it looks so amazing in photography. Sobra. As in, it just blends into your skin and hindi mo na madetect kung saan siya nagsimula. Kasi it's just so, ano mo yun, parang feeling ko kasi hindi mo siya iset ng setting spray. Kung saan siya nagbe-melt into your skin and it's never patchy, Alam mo yun, and pwede mo siyang pa-contour yung shade niya. Actually, this is what I use to contour. Ayaw kasi nung harsh na contour. So, totoo lang. Kasi, syempre, kahit na nag-makeup tayo, we, want, we still want to look. Kasi so, may natural ba? Eh, kung may harsh line dyan, alam mo yun, hindi na siya natural lady. Eh, parang, ang pag-makeup nyo, for me lang naman, is parang enhancing your natural features. And not to look artificial. For me lang naman. I'm just not that kind of girl. The baking kind. <laughs> Hindi ako baking. Ayan. So basically, we're just adding definition. This is so important, ha? Do not go into a pictorial without putting dimension into your skin. Kasi it will make the difference talaga. Kaysa yung flat white lock and blush. Na wala ka parang some sort of contour and bronzer. Kasi remember, lalo ka mga white cast kasi you will be under a lot of lights. So, ano And plus na lang yung mapagiging medyo slimmer and more structured din nyo. More structured. Okay, so this is also what I use to contour my nose. Remember to blend it out so much kasi if it's harsh, ang pangit yung tingnan sa pictures. Honestly, ako yung tipo ng tao na napapangito na ko tingnan sa Mga pictures na sobrang harsh ng nose contour. Malakoy sa Aquino. Kung fat ka nito sa Aquino, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend you. Pero that's the truth. Alam natin niya na grabe siya mag nose contour. Dala. You want it, para, what, you, what we are going for is just a natural shine. Yan. Kaya parang biniblend ko siya pa baba, di ba? Like this. Para mo wala siya natural shadow, hindi siya talaga two stripes sa gilid ng nose mo, di ba? And ako personally, nilalagyan ko dito sa side para mas mukhang slimmer yung nose. Okay, so meron ka ng natural shadow. So para mas pointed yung dulo, lalagyan mo na siya ng kawag dito para mas light yung Ayan. So, medyo may dimension na yung nose natin. Honestly, in hindsight, I would not go for this powder to contour my nose. Kasi hindi nung talaga siya contour ko, no? bronzer siya. I would go for a parang cooler tone powder to contour my nose. Pero since I'm showing you how I did my pre-nap Victorian look, so this is what I used back then. Okay, so for blush, what I used is my Hourglass Palette Ambient Tiding Edit sa Real Light Palette. Kasi gusto-gusto ko tong shade na to, this one. Kasi it's so natural looking, eh. kaya siya talaga yung ginamit ko, sinadya ko. Kasi di ba nung Victoria Nesquera, hindi naman masyadong gusto yung pink na blush. So parang gusto ko lang yung natural looking na blush. Okay, so basically, nalagay mo na siya sa cheeks mo and let it in with a bronzer. So, fun fact lang guys, ang tagal ko pa nag-isipan yung mga makeup products na gagamitin ko para sa prenup pictorial ko and sa wedding itself. Kasi gusto ko talaga, bawat is, eh, syempre, di ba, minsan ka lang may kakasar, minsan ka lang mag-prenup pictorial. So, you want to look for So, for example, yung brush, yung bronzer na ginamit ko, I selected those na would look so natural and just melt into my skin. Ayoko yung mukha nakapatong. 
Kasi it would really show in HD photography. So yeah, nakikita nyo mismo sa camera ko. Na, it just melts into your skin. Hindi siya mukhang powdery at all. So, I like it so much. And of course, for highlight, I wanted something that would really be emphasized on camera and with the lights. Syempre, me lights, it will bounce off the highlight. Kaya I wanted a popping highlight. But still, both emphasize my parang, um, texture. So I went for my Alstasi Glow Kit in that blue, syempre. Because this is, the one, this is one of the most amazing highlights. I went for the shade Bubbly for my cheeks. And you want to concentrate this not on over the face, it's about baka magmukha kang oil. So just in the high points of your face, of your cheeks, there. The nose, keep it slow, and of course, since the off shoulder ako nun, I went in and highlighted my shoulders and my collarbone with the shade dripping in gold. Yeah. So, gagan pa na ako tayo para makita my collarbone mo, no? kasi it would look so good with the lights and all that. Kasi ang mukha ng beauty, if you want Jennifer Lopez. Glow, na parang ako galing mo sa beach, na parang sobrang smooth na skin mo. So, do not neglect the, the shoulders. So, after that, of course, we have to set the face, definitely. Kasi number one, syempre, para hindi nga mukhang powdery and mukhang skin mo lang siya. And second, since you will be under a lot of lights all throughout the shoot, syempre, may tendency mo hula sa makeup mo. So, for this, I... Siyempre, I went a little bit extra since once nga lang ako mag-green up, I went in with my Scandinavia Bridal Setting Spray kasi this re really prolongs the wear of your makeup. And second, I also went in with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix because this product gives you parang a slight glow na hindi ka mamantika tingnan. Alam mo yun? So, yun yung finish na nabibigay niya sa skin mo. Hindi na siya dry kasi ito medyo matte siya yung finish niya. I like this, a medyo make slight na dulo. Honestly, um, my advice is, kahit na meron ka makeup artist, you have to be conscious of these things. Dapat alam mo yung ginagawa. Dapat aware ka sa mga gusto mong mangyari. Kasi sometimes, hindi mo naman alam eh kung yung makeup artist na kinuha mo, eh, alam niya talaga yung particular hindi ko alam yung gusto mo ang kailangan mo. Kaya you have to know this kasi yung, ang hirap mag-redo, alam mo yun. So, sa prenup siguro pwede pa, pero sa wedding hindi. So, you really have to be careful na alam mo na gusto mo nakaset yung face mo kasi yun yung usual na papansin ko, hindi sa yun set, sobrang powdery ng face, kasi kitang-kita yun sa camera, sobrang light, may SPF, may flashback, ang kaba ng kilay, and meron. So, since na-set na natin siya, let's move on to the eyes. So, back then, what I used was my Etude House Drawing Eyebrow Pencil. Of course, to fill in my brow and my Darnell Brow Stylist Blocker. As I usually do, para mas mukha siyang eyebrows. You don't want the pomade kind of product for this kasi you want your natural brows to look like hair during the shoot kasi mukhang makeup eating. Alam mo yun, yun what I mean. Mukha siyang makeup eating nan kapag hindi kita yung individual hairs ng eyebrows mo. So, we want to go for the natural looking brows. So, I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows like I usually do. Be sure that you will leave no gaps kasi it will show sa light. So, like this, so may leave akong gap right there. Ayan. So, minrush out ko lang siya. Para magkaroon ng product. Okay, so now we're moving on to the eyes. Actually, hindi, ko naman, hindi naman ito yung product na ginamit ko no pre-nap um, pictorial ko. But, I wanted to use this na kasi feeling ko lang mas convenient and mas madali para sa inyo i-recreate kasi 
step by step na siya. Sin literal na susundan mo na lang. So, before I use my Juvia's Place Nubia 2 palette to do my eye makeup. But, ito, mas madali ito para sa'yo. This is the Big Browns by by by? Namitag na ako. Ayun, this is the Big Browns by Dose of Colors. So again, I'm just going to prime my eyelids. I just use na lang my tar cheek tea. Because hindi naman tayo gagawa ng parang metallic na makeup look. Puro all, this is an all matte makeup look lang. Kasi gusto ko nun, um, parang Victorianess nga eh, na parang gusto ko lang, mukha pa rin siyang natural, even though alam mo na may makeup. Alam mo yun. Wala naman makeup nun yung mga bam hairs. So basically, I just blend it in the concealer. So to set that concealer, I'm going for the first shade. Ayan, yung bone color shade to set down everything. Para lang smooth yung candles mo and wala ang sabit. So first, I'm going in with the shade Deserted and I'm putting it all over, as in all over my face and my socket as my transition shade. And by the way guys, like what I did for my wedding, sobrang laking ginhawa din sa'yo kung magpapa um, eyelash extensions ka na lang before your prenup or before your wedding. Kasi ang hassle ng natutuklap na lashes sa Victoria. At saka kitang-kita kasi kung may ligaw na glue, alam mo yun, or meron nang natatanggal na siya sa corner niya. Ang laking hassle niya na mawawala sa'yo kapag nagpa-eyelash extensions ka na lang. Personally, hindi ako fine na paglalagay ng eyelash extensions all the time, but, you know, for the sake of my wedding and my prenup, I would. Pero nung prenup ko, hindi ako nag-eyelash extensions. Kaya na-advisan ko na nga kayo na mag-eyelash extensions kayo. After you blended that, we will go to the next shade which is Outdoorsy. Basically, susundan mo lang talaga siya. So, ito, ilalagay mo lang a little lower, but still on the socket naman ito. Yung kanina, above the socket, ito on the socket. Same then, windshield wiper motions like this hanggang ma-blend siya. So, nilalagay mo lang ng... Pag mapaisip ko, ba't pag mapatungin mo pa sila, di ba? Ba't na isang color? Kasi, mas maraming dimension yung nagagawa. Mas ma parang 3D, kumbaga yung nagagawang effect kapag marami ka nalayer na eyeshadow. And basically, ano ba girl? Susundan mo na nga doon to, limang eyeshadow na naglalagay mo, di ba? It's so easy. Sobrang easy na niya. So after that, we're going in with the next shade which is um, cherry wood. Ito yung very parang maroon type na siya ng color. And for this, I want to go in with yung kasama niyang brush. Kasi medyo Pwede siyang i-consider na packing. Ooh, that is pigment. Pero don't forget to tap off the excess cape. Basically, I'm just putting it all over the natinang space. I went in for reddish toes kasi it really brings out brown eyes. Yeah. Yeah, take ko lang. So, once that is there, you want to go back to your blending brush and the shade outdoors to blend it together. So, let's but not the least, we'll go with the darkest shade called Rock Bottom. It's a dark, dark, dark brown. And we're just going to line our lash line it. Go back to the brush and blend it again. Tighten my eyes. I'm going for my usual Catrice waterproof black eyeliner. For my lower lash line, I'm going for my color pop crimson liner in the shade Mr. B. And I just went a little past the water line. Okay, so basically for 
on the lower lash line, we're just going to repeat the process, pero balik na. Meaning, dun muna tayo sa darkest shade, which is rock bottom. And i-coconnect muna siya doon sa ikin. So, we'll go with the parang maroon shade. And smudge it. Don't be afraid to smudge it low kasi honestly sa camera hindi siya masyadong manata. And gusto mo nga siyang baggy kaya dapat really blown out siya. And then using the first parang bone shape we would highlight the brow And then for the inner corner we're going back to our Anastasia Glow Kit and the shade Sunburst. And we're just going to highlight the inner corners. Okay, so today I won't bother with putting on some false lashes. Kasi nga, sabi ko sa inyo, kung may photoshoot kayo, na once nyo lang naman gagawin, might as well put on some, um, lash extensions kasi it will be easier. Trust me. And it will look better in photos kasi mas mukha siya natural. So for today, I'll just be going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So this is what we have so far. Never mind itong Mascara is much like you. Kasi ayun yung talaga matanggal. Kasi waterproof yung mascara. Ang hirip talaga niya tanggalin. So, dalawa yung looks na ginawa. Lip looks na ginawa ko. For my first look, I used my NYX Lingerie in the shade Exotic. Kasi, ang gusto ko sa NYX Lingerie, kasi nga gusto ko medyo natural looking pa rin, diba? Semi-natural look pa rin, kahit na alam na may makeup. Pero, ito kasi, kung makapit siya sa lips mo, na parang as if it's the color of your lips. So, that is what I like about this. So, this is the first one that I use. And, pero ang papakita ko sa inyo ngayon is yung favorite ko, yung baggy look, yung second look ko. And I use my Makeup Monsters in the shade Black and Heart for this. This is my favorite vampy shade. So, perfect yung name niya, I think. Black and Heart. Kasi parang ganoon talaga yung name niya. See, mukhang blood talaga siya, diba? And it's so pigmented for one so it. Oh my gosh, looking at its camera, I forgot how much I love this color. Kasi yung texture niya, sobrang velvety and it will not crumble, it will not go off your lips. Sobrang adorita talaga ng Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick. From the sea, the horizon, turn us to thousands, and we'll grow in number, fueled by... Here it is, ito na yung finish look. Ito yung look on yung aking free na pictorial as you have seen in the photos nung kanina. And you, heard, you saw naman that it photographs really well the skin, the eyes, the lips, lahat. So, that this is the look that I was going for kasi medyo Victorian-esque. Medyo bumpy. Sabi nga nila, malang twilight daw. Pero hindi naman talaga yun yung, yung goal namin. Gusto na talaga namin Victorian because of the venue. Diba? Basta gusto talaga namin Victorian. Sinadya ko talaga maghanap ng venue. So, I hope na nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to. Lalo na ako ikakasalaka. And if it did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And, of course, follow me on the Instagram. And, syempre, click the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. So, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Bye! Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side